I started this piece uh, as Imprimatura using uh, burnt sienna, liquid, and thinner as a wash. Now, I then proceeded to do it in layers of uh, oil, and um, the piece is called Water. The figure in this comes from the Three Sisters Sanctuary in Goshen, Mass. And she's a piece of representational art, and she represents water. Um, so, some interesting things in here was doing the gravel path. What I did was just layer in little pieces of gravel in various colors. I think I used five or six different tones. And I'm using a small round to do most of that. Uh, then uh, each piece of gravel has some kind of shadow. So in the end, what I did was I lined it with a liner brush. And uh, I used a, a blackish color uh, and I just outlined all the gravel and it gave it a really nice effect. Those lighter yellow ochre spots are sunlight shining through the trees there. Same with the grass. And you can see that the outline of the gravel it gives it a certain realistic quality. Um, you're adding shadow, which is what they are in real life, so it enhances it. Um, as you can imagine, it was time consuming. Um, I used the same method later on the representational piece of art there. Uh, she's covered in seashells um, from this angle, mostly glass buttons and everything. They're all tones of blue to represent water. Um, so I used the same technique and I outlined those at the end for that little shadow that those little pieces cast and it gave it a nice effect overall. This uh, white marble container was interesting to uh, paint. Uh, basically it was white marble with uh, a lot of um, veining in it. Um, black in character. Uh, it was probably a pot at one time, dirty at the bottom, it had sunlight shine in it, so it cast all type of shadows, and that was interesting to do. I'm going to turn in this little dark green blocked in area into a plant of ivy grown alongside and over the pot. I simply drew in leaves. I used two or three tones of white, uh, yellow shade for sunlight, blue shade for a little more shell. Then within those leaves, I painted in a very dark green to give those leaves some depth. Here I have, I added slate to the ground. There are pieces of slate all over and I just outlined those in the same manner to give them depth. Here I'm beginning to finish off water. She's got like a wooden nymph quality to her artistic style so that was an easy piece to work on. After the pebble path had also dried I uh, used a wash of uh, burnt umber ultramarine for a black uh, tone. But I also added liquid to it, some thinner, so it was thinned out. And I dry brushed that into the path to enhance the shadow from the overhanging trees.
And now I'm adding the pieces of glass. I believe it might be sea glass, uh, glass buttons, um, all various shades of blue, like I said earlier. Um, she's covered in seashells along her back, more or less. You can see a little bit of on the shoulder. In her left hand was encrusted with seashells. Um, this is close to the point where um, I will outline them. Uh, they also were clear buttons, so I just drew circles with a grayish, grayish type of black as an outline, same as I outline everything else. And I went back and dabbed those with a little variation of flesh color. Um, the buttons usually change what you see through them. adding the final details to the large rock she's sitting on and to the large rock that juts out of the ground behind her. That's one of the unique things about Three Sisters Sanctuary. Its curator designed several individual garden areas all around. They all contain sculpture and metal art of every design and each area represents some stage of life. If you ever have the opportunity to visit there, you should. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.